Simply put, net zero means not putting any more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. The way we achieve net zero in a building is by balancing the building's consumption with on-site generation through renewable sources. So there's generally a four-step process. First, reduce the consumption and demand for energy within the building. Second, electrify the building as much as possible. Third, put in on-site generation from renewable sources like solar panels. And then fourth, install a microgrid system which allows you to optimize all those components. One very good practical example of a school going net zero is a project we did with the John Paul II Secondary School in London, Ontario. There are many motivations that came together to make this project happen. First and foremost, their desire to show environmental stewardship and leadership in the community. Secondly, it was an opportunity to expose their students to a real-world application for STEM-related subjects. And then finally, uh, the practical consideration that's allowing them to save some money on their energy costs and to lock those costs in with some certainty in the future. As a result of the project, the JP2 school is now avoiding 277 tons of carbon being emitted into the atmosphere annually. The JP2 project is significant because it's recognized as the first retrofit carbon neutral school in Canada. And it's also the first project we're aware of that's been done under an energy as a service structure. I'm an optimist and I believe we can tackle climate change. But even if you're a pessimist, you should be able to look at a project like the JP2 School and see that we have the tools already today to address most of the challenges associated with climate change.